what is all of this <sighs> okay okay so like i said send help <laughs> Welcome back to our channel of course i'm tanaj and somewhere is my husband faustino so guys i know you were asking or wondering so who's gonna do the electricity like how are you gonna get your wiring done or whatnot who's gonna do that well we are stay tuned <laughs> fingers crossed So because they didn't have our wire that we needed on a spool, a regular spool, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make our own spool. Oh, I see. Put it through and then it counts. Well, I can hear it somewhere. Show them what you got, babe. Oh, no, 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 no. Spool going here. Mm-hmm. You got it? I think so. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you just yeah. made it. Good, you got tired. I don't you think that tie. that's how it goes there. You got a tie. You okay, you got but you, you couldn't have known I because you wouldn't have put it like that. To put it through. But I've seen it's done. Okay. I have faith in you. I think that this is going to be the one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We have movement. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so he took everything down that you did, baby. Damn it, man. I got that far right. <laughs> that is strand, right? Strand is 12 gauge, right? Well, you were going in the right direction, at least. Oh, that looks cool. How y'all block coming out? Mm -hmm. I see how is y'all block coming out? It's coming out well. Wow. We're enjoying it. That's cool. Okay, so as soon as I find them, then I can begin. But I have my notes, I have my wires. And uh, I have faith that I can get this wiring done. Now what we have been doing is basically going through the van to find out where all of our plugs and sockets and everything is gonna be. We're uh, wiring for 12 volt and then for 120. So after tons and tons of videos and lots and lots of research, I feel kind of uh, overwhelmed. <laughs> Someone send help. <laughs> what is all of this? <sighs> okay, now I've already went through and I've labeled everything where the refrigerator is and where the lights are gonna go and where the plugs are supposed to be. So that has already been labeled. Now I think that um, all that has to be done is the wiring. And I have my red wires, I have my black wires, and I have my really thick wire which is I think this one is like a I want to say it's a 14 gauge wire and this is what it looks like so this is the 14 gauge wire and it has red and black in the inside so everything else is going to be wrong with this red wire and the black wire and this is a 12 gauge wire so cross your fingers shall cross your fingers Okay, so I think that what I'm gonna try to do is kind of uh, gonna try and clean up a little bit before I actually start. So here goes nothing. So since we already we already labeled uh, the red 12 stranded wire, what we're gonna do now is we are going to run this black here is what it looks like it's black 
12 thin and let me show you how the strands look because we originally bought the wrong wiring and then we had to go back to Home Depot and uh, and replace it so this is what uh, this is what it basically looks like this is what we we just got. okay so yeah that's not gonna work guys that's not gonna work just take my word for it what it is is it's uh, a stranded wire you can see it in the inside to see the little strands and this is 12 so we have 100 feet of this and we are going to, to try and um, untangle I don't know why this was left like this yesterday but it's okay cuz um I made it work so that's what I'll do so I'll check you guys in a minute as soon as I finish untangling this blob of wiring see this don't do this don't do this this is ridiculous the wires that are exposed to any corners because when we drive we don't want the wires to rub up against here that can create friction and create a fire and we definitely don't want that so everywhere there's a corner we're putting the coils on from Amazon I wonder what that could be I wonder what that could be oh it's something small <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit bigger ah, I think it is thank you <laughs> That is a refrigerator, but I don't think it's supposed to be sitting like that. It's supposed to be, supposed to be up some kind of way. Hold up, y'all. Now y'all see that this is how we received it on the side. So if something is wrong with it, it's gonna go right back to where we got it from. I am extremely excited today. Why? Because the shower pan came. So we have been waiting basically for the shower pan to come so that we can try and uh, frame out everything else around it. I just walked from out from inside to outside so hold on a second yeah I just want to make sure you guys see me so we've been waiting for the shower pan to come and it just came the shower pan came and the water heater came and I'm so excited I'm so excited 
yeah so i'm gonna unwrap the shower pan well unwrap it i'm gonna unbox the shower pan and then i'm going to um to try and measure out everything around it so here it is here's the shower pan and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to unbox it i'm gonna put it over there inside of uh those blue lines and then we'll see how it fits Okay, so I was a little worried because this box is really, really big, but shower pen isn't. So here it is, guys. Here's a shower pen. This is, I believe, a 24 by 32. Yeah, I think it's a 24 by 32. For about two and a half weeks right and you guys know that it has been um it's been pretty wet here in New Orleans. like it seriously has. it's been really really wet so what you're looking at day four has probably been our week three so what we did was we bought at least 300 feet of red and black 12 volt cables right uh and basically that covered all of it i don't think we have any more spools um i think the best bet is to run your cables uh through some of the holes i already made but when possible make a hole uh sometimes it, it's a lot easier and you can use probably less wires i'm looking around because there's a couple of spots where uh we could have just ran our own holes and uh i don't know I, to me it would have just been easier but i would do that differently next time it's really important that you guys know where your outlets and where your lights are gonna be like i think that we use a lot more wiring than i originally thought because we decided to have more lights than i originally expected we're gonna have 12 lights we have two max air fans we have a water pump we have a water heater we also have the vent for the uh, uh, nature's head toilet. We have a couple of power, 110, uh, 120 power 120 outlets. 120 power outlets, um, yeah, we have I that. I think about maybe five of them. I would recommend buying yarn, like red yarn and blue yarn, and then actually running it with yarn so that you can see that's how it's gonna look and that's where you're gonna, your outlets are gonna be and things like that. That way you have a visual before actually using uh, electrical wiring and, uh, and run it through the hole. So another thing that I would suggest you do is you buy split sleeve yes. because we used a lot of split sleeve. So split sleeve is basically this bendable coil that goes around the wires and it protects the wires. Right now what we're doing is we're putting these black coils around all the wires that are exposed to any corners because when we drive we don't want the wires to rub up against here that can create friction and create a fire and we definitely don't want that so split sleeve is important to get right get different sizes because you can uh there's uh, there's the three quarter uh size and the three eight size uh, i recommend basically you can probably run like a half inch uh but get all three because you're gonna have different cable widths and uh different it, hole sizes as right well. and it definitely it definitely helps out a lot and it, uh and you'll find some pinch points where you're definitely gonna need it seriously it's not that hard of a job you basically know where everything is going to go you have to realize what's going to be 12 volt and what's going to be 120 volt in the 12 volt you have the red and the black wire which is the positive and the negative wire you take that red and black wire and you run it from where that light is going to go back to the battery it took a lot of time and i know you guys can kind of get overwhelmed with everything but seriously it's really not that hard just take your time. Don't even focus on how long it took everybody else. Just take your time. Use your notes. Use uh, the information that we're giving you and everything else that you're learning on YouTube and you guys should be absolutely fine. Like seriously, you should be absolutely fine. So what you're looking at now is uh, the wiring that we just completed and uh we're gonna move on to our insulation which we kind of moved on right, to it a little bit already but there's more to be done there is so much more to be done there's so much more to be done so if you guys have any questions if you have any comments uh we didn't get hurt so you shouldn't have any concerns just right. uh leave them down in the comments below and we'll get back with you in our next video all, all right. right then guys i hope that helped you a little bit i know that the beginning of the video was kind of all over the place 
but when you're wiring, you really don't have time to record. Right, it's, so you wanna focus on uh, making sure your wiring is right. Yes, you definitely wanna focus. So anyway, guys, well, until next time, deuces.